Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be about my G, finally. I know I've been boring you guys with my content about my G35 only. I try to incorporate as many other cars as I can, but uh, it can get a little difficult. But today, it became a little bit easier, and we just met this guy very recently. I don't even know. We're about to meet him for the first time in person, but he owns a GTR with a $9,000 active wing behind on his GTR. It's absolutely amazing. You guys already probably seen it on the other on the other videos, and we decided to watch the car real quick because well, we gotta look nice. We gotta look nice. So we got the carbon fiber trunk ready, looking very nice and crispy. Let's go meet the guy, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Make sure to give this a like and uh, give him some love. I'll post his Instagram down in the description below, and I'll put it here in the title somewhere around here. And then so you guys can see and follow him and follow his build. He's got an incredible build on its way. I think it's worth a watch. Yeah. Dude, these tires are massive. Yeah, that's pretty fat. Yeah, it's the one I gave you probably have the half panel on it or down. Yeah. And so they would charge 14 bucks, but you wouldn't go to that cost like 28. Pre cut? Okay. Use Nyquist tape. Use Nyquist tape, so you put the, the Nyquist tape around. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what's cool about like right here is like for the exhaust bar is kind of outlined right here with the body. So yeah. he lined it up and then put the vinyl over, laid it down, and then cut it. And then pull the tape yeah. and it cuts it. Okay. Guys, let me show you an example of Nyquist tape right there. Works out. Oh my god. Casting, what the hell is a casting couch? Like for interviews? Or what? Haha, <laughs> you got a couch. Alright guys, new couch in the shop. <laughs> First feels. It's nice and comfy. Perfect balance. Nice. Alright guys, we're here getting, uh, we just replaced, oh, fuck, I thought I had the screw. Uh, we just replaced that one screw that was short in my car, but, uh, while we're here, friend Gabe over here replaced his, uh, he, were those, they're not going in, right? What, what were they? Still in. He had still in air intakes, replaced them for some A, admin, admin. admin. I was right with the A, <laughs> admin, I thought they were AMS, but. Some admin air intakes and they look mean as fuck. He's he's about to tune it shortly and it's about to be it's gonna push like what 340, 350? No. What are you talking about? Something like 450. 450? Like 430. Bro, you told me 340 or something. Sheesh, 450, goddamn. Uh -huh. He said he gets 43. It, it'll be like 3, 340 in the wheels, 400 at the crank. He said he gets 43 wheel horsepower? Yep. Just alone on just this mod right here. But so it's the combination of the the test pipes, the Tomei test pipes, and a three-inch single exit. So it's a combination of all that that makes these cars wonderful. All they need to do is breathe. Breathe.
just get home and I want to sh- I want to talk to you guys a little bit about me and uh, what's going on and some things you guys can expect in the channel not as far as mods but like actual events Check it out, dude. Holy shit. I think it's coming from the right side. What was this? I just put it in. What the fuck? So it was the under, under the, the literal, the fender liner. I literally just put it and it's already ripped. Anyways, let's get going here on the road. So guys, we just got done with the project, a uh, mini, mini, mini project. This took a long time. Like, all, you had to be accurate. You got to see where it worked. But uh, let's do a simulation. Let's do a simulation right now. All right. We're in the car. We're in the car, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're getting, we're exiting off the car and boom. Oh. Look at that. Instantly. Panty dropper right there. Wow. That's just amazing right there. I didn't even look at the projector. You can't even see it. I was like, that right there, that makes me want to take out my panties. This this is what I'm talking about. So, uh, there you go, guys. Very easy, simple. Let's go. Close- <laughs> Seventy fifth anniversary, three seventy Z. So here's a normal one, right? So let's look at what it includes. Options. Where's it at? Options by the fifth anniversary. A two thousand six hundred dollar option. Body color splash guards. I think the biggest thing on here is are the decals and the Alcantara steering wheel, which we'll show. You guys can see. Arcatara steering wheel, some nice seats. Yeah, two thousand six hundred dollars for that. Do you guys think it's worth it? I mean, that's only two thousand six hundred dollars for that option, but the car costs itself like four, five grand more. So uh, I don't know if it's worth it, but hey, it is what it is. But anyways, we came down. Ugh, we came down here to the Nissan dealership to pick up none other than um, these guys. Some safety clips for the fender liner because you know as you guys can tell it fell it broke or ripped in the freeway and uh, we're gonna I just ordered the new one came in and uh, need to put it on before it rains because you know we need to protect the headlights and things like that oh, wow. that Hellcat in front of us sounds super good guys small glimpse Ooh. oh that would be a cool pick let me take a pick real quick anyways take a pick do you guys do you guys carry your freaking tools with you guys this is my soccer bag but here i have my breaker bar all right well we gotta rip this box hopefully this is the, the right one uh, it's pretty glad that it is why is this all squished? Oh my god, dude. Some people just don't really care about their business, bro. We're gonna leave it in the sun for a bit because 
so we can help it mold a little bit better i know it'll stay on with the clips but let's just let's just let it stay here what the hell we got a woman sign what the freak what the freak anyways let's put this shit over here all right guys we're back let's take off the wheel put the fender easy three two one back out and here's the tire guys look the other side is like this as well but you guys can see it's starting to bald how many months do you guys give me till i have to get some new ones jesus should i put like when i get new tires should i put the tire lettering again dude these were a freaking like it just takes a long time to do it's not that they're hard it just takes a long time to do freaking women sign oh you see it did fix with the sun nice all right let's start the water line that freaking you know you you squirt water on your windshield completely shredded front bumper completely shredded let's put our first clip on there you go coming together already this is i didn't put these bolts on and now i did on the other side though that side's not hanging but i didn't put these sides and i didn't put the ones that hang on to this other under tray over here you see this bolt is loose too it's just like that i didn't bolt them on i just left it like that and this somehow freaking got out of here and went down over here and started dangling on the freeway like this and it basically just rolled this freaking ended up going with the whole tire this thing's nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere top or bottom put like 10,000 clips in this all right y'all well i hope you guys enjoyed the video a little bit something you know it wasn't an install you know it was kind of kind of all over the place but you know, i feel like it's getting kind of boring with all these installs i've been just installing 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 and it's just pretty crazy but talking about installs we are going to be installing a new bumper and we are going to be installing a new wrap and next year what do you guys think supercharger g35 what do you guys think i'm really thinking about buying the vortex supercharger kit for the g35 and boosting it like i promised in the last video um it seems doable i think i could do it and you know why not dude make the car the channel a beast i haven't put any freaking car mods uh, as far as performance on the g35 not even the basic thing as like an air intake like it is the stockest g35 you will ever see in your life so um as far as performance so uh i need to put some from no performance to a supercharger kit, i think it's a big ass jump so definitely we're gonna start doing like some air intake you know a plenum spacer maybe some test pipes and then buy the supercharger kit tune it and you know get some new injectors new all that and stuff like that so we can get the g running freaking mighty fine so besides that i'll catch you guys next video uh i don't know what's gonna be about you know i kind of work as a day uh thank you guys for all of you guys who messaged me on instagram i've been getting a lot of questions and things like that and uh, you know it's it's freaking awesome but sometimes it does get overwhelming because i'm like oh shit so many damn questions i feel like y'all throwing that shit at me so um you know i appreciate it though so i i'm not even complaining catch you guys next video thank you guys so much catch you guys next time peace